WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento for the mid-morning update, and we have the Dow Jones up 200 points, the S&P up about 7 points, the NASDAQ up about 12, so it's rather quiet, the Russell being down a little bit, and of course we have Treasury, bound, Treasury bonds down another 1.5 points, and uh, they're, well, actually down 23 points at 18 uh, 23, and we'll be talking about that. Uh, I think we've got a pretty significant rally coming in the Treasury bonds. We've got some real interesting patterns that are lining up. The rest of the markets are relatively quiet. We've got the corn, soybeans, and wheat all up slightly. And uh, the meat market's not doing very much. Inflation, of course, is still high. The big thing is, is we've had this huge move uh, in silver and gold over the past few days. And that is not something that you should take lightly, folks. This is a big move. We've had a $2.5 move in silver in two days. And that, that you ought to pay attention to, a $90 move uh, in the gold market. So something is happening there. Also, the foreign exchange markets have shifted. The dollar is now under attack. We've had a big move here in the British pound overnight, and we've also had a significant move in the euro. We'll be talking about both of those uh, on my show that comes up in just a couple of minutes. Uh, by the way, my guest today will be Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have Rich Anderson going to be talking to us about grains and crude oil and also natural gas. And then on Wednesday, we have Shane Schmolian will be on. And then on Thursday, we'll have Tim Boss Financial Cycles Weekly. And then Friday is Veterans Day. So anyway, we'll be uh, looking at a lot of different things this week, but the markets are very, very active. And remember, folks, we have a full moon and lunar eclipse. Uh, that's going to be tomorrow, which happens to be Election Day. And make sure you go in to vote. That's the main thing that you want to do. You don't have any complaints if you're not voting. So if you're not voting... Don't complain, because your vote is what you're complaining for, so whatever side you want to pick. So that's what we're watching here this morning. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little break, pay a few bills. We're going to come back with uh, Trade What You See, and we'll have some fun looking at some of these charts. And we'll be starting out, of course, with the E-mini uh, S&P. I think we're at a very critical level here coming into this eclipse, and we're going to find out uh, you know what it's going to be here in just a few minutes. So stay with us. <laughs> 